don't even know what to call it. <laughs> Livingston and Stanley and come to Gambia today, they would have gone back to London. Said so there's nothing there. Just use the place to use this. No, I shouldn't say that. It's, they come to this specific location right here. Is what I mean. But this is if the first place you visit in Gambia is here, and you come to Gambia to relax and enjoy it, you'd be going home and saying, "Hey." Uh, this is not it. <laughs> okay, this the first time you visit is like First time you visit, you say, wow, is this for real? The next time you say, like, <laughs> what kind of world is this? Look at the people. <laughs> Imagine that. Jeez. You don't want to knock the kid down. You knock the kid down underneath the car. Shake your head. Seriously. <laughs> you can only shake your head. I'm serious. What? <laughs> he looks at me and like, so what? <laughs> You can only shake your head. <laughs> hey. What did I tell you, you people? Don't move so hard. Hey, you see that one? Now he can that he can take it. So guess what? <laughs> hey, <laughs> just two seconds he can wait. So he speed through there and hit the other guy. I mean, it it it, it can't get better than this. I'm serious. How can it get better than this?
can't get better than this. He's laughing. I mean, he's grinning. <laughs> now this guy is thinking, the guy here, the taxi is thinking, this other guy over here is responsible for hitting his car. You guys, you guys see this, right? He's thinking this guy right here in the 3D <laughs> is responsible for hitting his car. Well, he's drove, driving down the street on the opposite side of the road into uncovered traffic because he can two minutes. If I sound like a preacher, I'm not. Preachers are one of the people I can't like, detest. But let me tell you something. If you come into Gambia, This is the this is what you're going to run into on a daily basis if you drive. And nobody, everybody knows that it's like that. When I say everybody, I mean everybody knows it's like this. But the people who can do something about it. Don't. I repeat what I said. Life here, uh, and, uh, especially for the poor, seems to be valueless. Poor against poor, they don't value each other's lives, it seems. But, Welcome to Gambia. It's kind of I don't know. This <laughs> wow. I'm serious. But that what I just see there, every time I pass through, not every time though. About 99% of the time I pass through Tanji. Turntable. Circunda, traffic lights, <laughs> oh, Caraba Avenue, going towards Manjai. I mean, it is like this. you can find that you like uh, hope you get here soon because uh, the prices of everything maybe the year in, in the past nine months the price of almost everything in Gambia has doubled almost everything they subsidize bread they subsidize certain things for the poor which is good and if the government didn't do that there would be food riots just like their food riots in Sri Lanka and other parts of the world. But, everywhere else in the world, things are bad anyway. Hello? Hi guys. Alright, how are you? Fine, are you? Pretty good. Are you good for me? 
of everything is going up. I mean the one thing about here though is that you don't walk into a grocery store and see the shelves empty. Food is available. Not like the US and England and Italy and France and Spain where they're rationing food. Germany rationing fuel. The UK is rationing fuel. And it's gonna get worse. If you're thinking about moving to Africa, you better speed up your uh, your move. Get here, get established. So when uh, things get, well, when I say things get, they already gotten there. But you see, uh, the leader of the few world is running all over the world. Begging people either to increase the amount of fuel they're sending or pumping, the uh, amount of oil they're pumping, hey, <laughs> uh, grow more food because the uh, supermarket shelves, everything is coming from Mexico and south of South America, Thailand and China. <laughs> They're begging these people to produce more so that you in the US don't see the empty store shelves. You in London don't see the empty store shelves. You see that? <laughs> hey! <laughs> 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 okay, so you can't look at it. You can't look at it. You can't look at it. Said, hurry up, get here, get yourself established, and uh, don't get trapped there. Cause I can tell you, I I, I mail up my son mailed me a package on FedEx. Packages normally take about a week to get here. One package took almost four weeks to get here, and the other one just over a month I can tell you why it's happening but this is not the right forum for that the FedEx have to be flying certain materials to places that uh, they needed to be that certain people want it flown to because they can't get it there. The ships are sitting off China. People are saying, you know, these ships are sitting off. There's a reason why they're shipping off China, sitting off China. If you don't have ships to put things on, <laughs> you just have to fly them, you know what I'm saying? Yes, uh, I can tell you the story of why the ships are there, but this because the story that you're hearing, why the ships are there, is not the true story. Not that China don't have people to unload the ships. China's got the people to unload the ships. They can be unloaded, but the ships are also stuck in California. There's a reason why these ships are stuck in the places they are. 
but most people you know you're too busy watching the Oscars to uh, <laughs> pay attention to what's going on in your life and prepare for it so he uh, I just warning you just giving you my little two cents as my aunt used to say my Koba In the old days, they said two bob. Uh, hate me. People in the Caribbean would know what a hate me means. Uh, well, not even people in England know. The youngsters don't know what a hate me is. People in the Caribbean know what a hate me is. And a cuba. Anyway. We headed towards the turntable. <laughs> the other, uh, oh, the other place that uh, you'll find interesting when you drive past. But come with your trailer load of patience. And Things are different here. They're a lot better than where you are. I can promise you that. I'm telling you. Uh, Turntable. Temptations had the sound. Ball of confusion. Ball of confusion. That's what the world is today. Look on her face, says no. Oh, it's really, it's shrimp. It's shrimp? Yeah. What did they look like? Look. look like it was dead for the last year? No. no. You didn't? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, from the day. Wanna stop them? I mean, you, you, you pass by again? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you sure now? No, I really don't smell. Yes, it didn't look like it doesn't look like a it's not a black and red. I see. Doesn't look like it. It's uh, three weeks old, three weeks or a month old. Somebody else going to buy it. Yeah, it's like, usable. When your roof is like something like it has hole or throw away by the, <laughs> by the typhoon, I've, you can get that in the shop. Look, I've seen Africans go to America, drive around every street, New York, Florida, wherever I've been, they pick up every scrap of metal, old washing machines, everything put it in a container and ship back to Africa. And I used to wonder why. Mm -hmm. You know, 1990, I'm wondering why are these people doing this? It's waste them. Hey, 2009. Here when 
that I used to work for did me a favor and sent me to Africa. Did he? Oh yeah. I used to go from, from Accra to Nigeria every night. The flight down and back. They did me a favor. Yeah, did you? And I saw what was going on. I saw everything that's going on throughout Africa. Places I've been. Hey, <laughs> now I understand. I understood them. Uh, we had to run down here to Vigilo. Now we're headed back to the turntable. Hey, <laughs> twice in 15 minutes. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna end this video. Hopefully, you will find some joyful about this ride. You know what I'm saying? It's something to see and say, wow, now that is, is something, you know, I've never seen that before, or, you know, even in the places that I've been to. I've been to Mexico and I see. I'm driving, but not like this. I've been to Brazil, have seen Sao Paulo, see him some driving. <laughs> but never like this. You know, I've been to Philippines, Manila. <laughs> I've been to London, New York City, Chicago, West Side. Oh, very good. Going north to Wisconsin is like, what? Anyway, I've been to all these places. This one is another tick on your list. You say, wow, amazing, you know? So, but, enjoy your day wherever you are. Peace.